Facebook about this, and there was a lot of people that are in there chiming, talking about uh, LeVar Ball going to be a disruption to the Lakers. How the hell is a player's daddy going to be a disruption to an NBA team? Tell me how that's going to happen. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to wait for this. I, I use one of Big Apple Bash's lines. I'll wait. Tell me how a parent of a player is going to be a disruption to an NBA franchise worth billions of dollars. How is his daddy chirping about, I don't know anything, going to be a distraction to an NBA team? He really wasn't a distraction if you asked me to UCLA. He really, you can't bona fide tell me he was a distraction to the kids' high school coach as well and getting them fired or whatever. You tell me. Somebody give me a rational, not just this bootleg rhetoric you're throwing out there because you hate the Lakers. Somebody tell me, in specifics, a rational explanation on how a parent of one of the players is going to be a disruption to a multi-billion dollar NBA franchise. I will wait. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. From Clay Golden Child Davis. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. And don't, don't forget, you can get some of this trivia. Call up to the show. I want to get your hot sports take, as they call it in the industry. And then I'll ask you a trivia question, so don't forget about that. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. From Clay Golden Child Davis, Billy King let two colonizers make an ass out of him with the Celtics and Joe Johnson trades. <laughs> From uh, the Wait a Minute Show. What up, Wait a Minute Show? My man Jelani, don't forget today at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, the Wait a Minute Show with my man Jelani. Jelani is giving away something free. Y'all like that. Uh, the Wait a Minute show, he says, Sydney, I'm a Lions fan. Matt Mullen has a no-fly zone for the state of Michigan. <laughs> I guess talking about GMs that have made bad mistakes. When Matt Millen was the Lions GM, he just, I mean, they were already back, but he took them back another 25 years. From Star-Lord, Jay Clyde. Who did UCLA play that was worth a damn other than Kentucky? And he didn't even average 15 points a game. That's not a top two pick material. Whatever. Averaging like right at 14, 15 points a game for a college kid ain't bad. Especially if he was a point guard when he's averaging like seven, eight assists a game. Listen, I, de- debating whether he was a good player or not, me and you, is really ridiculous. All right? There's people that have their, their daily job is to critique these players. Now, they don't always get it right either. All right? That being said... But if you watch this kid and you look, he has a better offensive game right now than Jason Kidd did coming out of Cal. Right now. Now his shot, his jump shot is kind of, you know, flicked (laughs) looking-ish. It's kind of strange looking, but it works. All right? We've seen a lot of great players with with an ugly looking shot that were effective in the NBA. At this point right now, his offensive game is better than Jason Kidd when he was coming out of Cal. He's going to have the time to grow and get that shot and his offensive game even better, project that out to 10 years from now. And defensively, he's solid. He's not great, but he's solid. But his floor generalship is phenomenal. All right? If his main task is to get everybody involved in the offense, to set up the offense, to distribute the basketball, he can do that. They got some other scores on that damn Lakers team right now. I ain't going to be explaining all this shit to y'all. I'm going to stop getting my blood pressure up about this. It doesn't even matter. I mean, we clearly, clearly, I didn't realize that we had such a run of Laker haters in my chat room. You disgust me. You disgust me. From Fly Tide in the chat room on Spreaker.com. Man, y'all are crazy as hell to be fighting big ass bits. <laughs> yeah, man. We were in high school. My cousin Spence, uh, Steve's brother, the owner uh, of uh, Southern Edge Beverage Company. When we were in high school, Spence's senior year, he was every bit of six foot one. Probably 250 pounds. 
played tight end uh, in high school. Um, he played tight end in high school. We were in high school. And then when he got to uh, the Citadel, um, he played offensive tackle, I believe. And so he picked up even more weight. But, yeah, we used to have wrestling matches, man. It was kind of like a tradition, a routine. And we traveled to them, and they traveled to us, man. And we had a lot of heart. We <laughs> we had a lot of fight, a lot of spirit, me and my brother. And this was back in the day, so Ryan was real skinny. He hadn't really started lifting weights or anything like that. And they just was cornbread, collard greens, country strong. <laughs> Shit. Jam Exile from New York by Tiff. Clyde, I'm not saying dude don't have game, but it scares me a little that he backed down from Fox and his jump shot needs a lot of work. And add this fact that his father does a lot of talking for mean, uh, for was mean dudes going to be coming at him like Fox or Knight. What's going to happen then? From Andre Elam. Uh, let me take a look at Andre Elam's profile picture. questionable straddling the fence with this profile pick Andre Elam but uh, I think we can keep it I think we can keep it I think we can keep it oh and Andre's just giving shots out to the other Stewies in the chat room on Spreaker.com from uh, LD from the descent. I think it's all set up. It's a plan because they know that Ball's dad has been saying that he really wants to only play for the Lakers, and I bet they don't want one of those Archie Eli Manning situations. So y'all think that they set that they set up the NBA draft lottery because LeVar Ball said he only wanted his son to play for the Lakers, that they set it up? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Seriously. Seriously, now it's, it's fun. I love a good conspiracy just as much as the next, uh, the next ninja in Ninjaville. Um, but come on, man. Come on. So, so why didn't they do this uh, when Kobe came out? What? The, 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 who was it? The uh, the Charlotte Hornets had they had like the twelfth or thirteenth pick or whatever. You know. Come on, man. That doesn't make any sense. You know how big of a of a conspiracy? You know how many things would have to happen? You know how many people would have to be in on it for them to set up the Lakers? So, and it's not even – listen, and not only that, the the, uh, the uh, Boston Celtics could take Lonzo Ball. And, uh, and if the Boston Celtics take him, what? What are they going to do? You may bitch and moan and say that you only want to play for the Lakers – just like I said, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. When Charlotte had the pick and they thought that Kobe Bryant was going to be, if they thought that he was going to be the player that they thought he was going to be or that he ended up being, if the Charlotte Hornets drafted Kobe Bryant, they weren't going to do a damn thing. Kobe would have played. He would have had a damn frown on his face, but he would have played. Same thing with this. If the Boston Celtics want to, if you really want to talk about a conspiracy, all right, that you could give a little bit more credence to, if the Lakers got the number one pick, then maybe you could say that. There's no definite that, that the Boston Celtics are going to take the Fultz kid from Washington. They may take LeVar Ball, Lonzo Ball. Y'all just need to stop this. Y'all need to stop this. From Sean, chat from Puerto Rico V. What up, Sean from, uh, V from Puerto Rico? Good morning to you, sir. Hard for me to appreciate Golden State Warriors. It's like watching them loaded AAU teams beat up on less talented squads. Uh, very true. A great analogy. From Montana Jones, once again, when will the Warriors beat a fully equipped team? This has been an ongoing thing with the Golden State Warriors where they've been pretty lucky. Now, I will say um, that that they're not having the full production. We mentioned this a little bit earlier. They don't have a full strength Andre Iguodala. Sean Livingston is starting to turn it around right now. So they're not at maximum, maximum capacity, but they're damn close. And what they got on the floor is damn hard to beat. It's going to be very hard to beat. And, yes, San Antonio doesn't have their two probably best players at this point right now. Uh, And Tony Parker with the veteran leadership and Kawhi Leonard. LaMarcus Aldridge. 
Uh, he kind of off and on from T-Dub, ABM. Draymond was doing that before the two MVPs. He's even played like that at Michigan State in the first year at Golden State. Check the stats. Stop playing ESPN. I don't know what he's talking about. I didn't pay attention to Draymond Green that much in Michigan State to even know he was playing like that when he was in college. I don't give a shit. Uh, wait a minute. There you go. Um, I didn't pay attention to Michigan State basketball like that. I knew Draymond Green was a solid player. As a matter of fact, I think he came out early, and they were questioning whether he should have even come out early. That's all. I don't. I don't know. I watch ACC basketball for the most part outside of the tournament. And I didn't know Draymond Green was doing all of this at Michigan State. Maybe you watched him. Maybe you watched him week in and week out. I did, <laughs> sir. From angry black man, surely about to say something very angry. <laughs> <laughs> Angry black man says, T-Dub, I saw him at MSU, and he wasn't dominating the Big Ten. Stop inflating what he was doing. I don't even watch ESPN. Oh, I'm sorry. I back up. I take that back, T-Dub, what I just said about you. So evidently, T-Dub was talking about, uh, he was talking to Angry Black Man in the chat room on Spreaker.com and not me specifically. Let me take a look at Angry Black Man's profile pic. He might be angry, but this chick is fine as hell. Skip it there. Skip it there. Skip it there. Skip it there. <laughs> yes, sir. Chocolate. Yes, sir. Good morning to you, angry black man. Stop being so damn angry. <laughs> yeah. LeVar Alonzo said, is L.A. a bust? Yeah, I like it. I like it. I really, really like it. I think our fortunes are turning. Yes, sir. Oh, man, I was so excited. I was like a freaking kid in a candy store last night. I was so giddy. Yes! (laughs) Yes! We back, bitches! Hey, all right, when we get back from the break, man, let's uh, uh, flip it a little bit. A little entertainment talk, birthdays as well. And uh, Antonio Cromartie, man, even with the snip snip, he is still a baby-making machine. (laughs) I'll tell you more about it when we get back. Don't go away. The Doug Stewart Show. Get him again. King's Nation. Spot Radio. Spot Radio. Spot Radio. Yeah. Listen, boy, skills, y'all. I ain't skills. Nah. I don't rap to beat. I ain't the cat that came out and made you want MC. I ain't the cat that did it alone. Had no help. Carried the whole state on his back by himself. When P was the verb lord and Tim had a small frame. Before Missy came and got you wet in the rain. Was the raw metaphors that was picking your brain. It was a cat from which you're sickening with a flow insane. Nah, I ain't him. He ain't me. They say we look alike, but they don't mean I want your CD. So it's best to back up, relax, we're acting tough. Get your facts up before your act is up in the rap. Huh? And you don't want to see that dude. He was screaming VA when screaming VA wasn't cool. Huh? Now let me stop, that's uh, me. But you'll never open yeah, the state yeah. playboy, because I still got Look, the key. I'm Woo! from the V to the SA, one of the few who get played. Yeah. I stay in these streets, a cop, cook, and flip, yay. Dog, you a slizze, like Kunta and Kizze. Who am I? Next Did you miss me? But on the up and up, they can't get enough for us. The home of Missy, D'Angelo, and Bubba Chuck. And you don't know what we capable of love. Be at your crib with a mask and up to take for some gloves. What, 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 what? Down here, cash rules. Nothing but bad dudes from Richmond to bad news. Make fast moves, dog. Stay alert here. Catch them up top. Come down and drop work here. Home of the Grizzay. We live to get paid until I'm old and grizzly. This is where I stizzy. Born and raised from the cradle to the grave. And the V to the to the V to the to the Izzy. V to the 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 to the